many things going on. Traveling every weekend. So many shows. I wanted to find a story that I could center everything around. To me, that was the hero's journey, which eventually became the Dreamverse. Starts with the hero in his natural environment. He has this calling to go do something greater, do something beyond where his normal existence is. Eventually decides to go and, you know, has a series of the trials, tribulations, has a mentor come along. At the end, he conquers his greatest fear, returns home a better person. You know, the more I watch movies and the more I read stories, you just kind of see this story in everything. So I felt like I wanted to write an album that represented it, consolidate all of my inspirations for Nightmare, and create characters and people, and what everything's all existing in this one ecosystem. So obviously first is the intro. So this song's supposed to kind of give you the feeling that you get when you're about to do something you've never done before. It sounds like a movie score, you know, or like the intro of something and just not knowing what's going to happen and just sort of this tension build up. Falling to me, sort of the love story. We got the really amazing animated music video done for this one, which was really special. Follow up song with Slander, who's some of my best friends. Dylan Matthew wrote the keys and the songs. The trials. You've come so far, and you haven't made any progress. It's very dark, you can't see the end, and you're not sure what's gonna happen. The one. And the song is super euphoric and happy, like the day off in the dream burst. Very colorful and more playful energy. I just pictured it being really enjoying the dream burst. It was really cool to write all of the music according to each step of the hero's journey and then brought it to Caleb. Here's the music, feeling the energy, all these things. I got a text from Tyler one day. He had this idea. He said, hey, I want to make an album and the entire album is based on the premise of a hero's journey. I mean, it just got my mind working. Everything clicked. I took a month to myself, and I started researching a bunch of movies and books, and then I wrote out the story bible. And in the story bible, it had all of those chapters in it. It even had like a glossary of terms. Art direction. The aesthetic. So we had this universe, it was our universe, and it didn't even have a name yet. And one character that stood out, the CEO, the founder of Treadsoft, and we called him Dr. M. We are offering you control. DRM, like the Dreamverse. That's how Dr. M came about, and Lex ended up taking on the role as Dr. M. That is what Dreamware is all about. But the real question was, how are we going to make this thing come alive? Once we sort of had all of those pieces together, we had the enormous task of creating the visuals and all of this different pieces that we wanted to be in the live show. No matter what director we were using, what location, whatever it was, everything is all coming from the Dreamverse perspective. You know, I needed someone to help me oversee that whole process. Someone who had the visual eye. And that was Mr. James Winterhalter. This was a different project for me than anything I've ever done before. Every music video we made had to be thought of in the context of a live show. And in our very first meeting, Caleb presented me a Bible, which was the most complex, <laughs> wild accumulation of sci-fi terms I'd ever read in my life. About eight years I've been working with Tyler, and this Dreamverse project was 
by far the most ambitious project that he's ever presented to me. It was also the most exciting. This was an opportunity to make something that would be premiered at Red Rocks and on giant screens all across the country. So I think for myself and all the directors, directors of photography, editors, BFX artists, everyone that touched this thing, um, that was a really exciting prospect. Danny, I just think, was the perfect person to cast for this because she's so ethereal. She really nailed her role every time. And Julian is like, you put that guy in front of a camera, you already have a good shot. Sometimes I would point my camera at Julian before we'd start rolling, and I would just tell the DP, hey, start rolling, look at him. Lex, he is a real life neo supervillain. He's like a Tedly nice supervillain. This is what Dreamwear is all about. Lex is a one of a kind character. And then from the live perspective, we reached out to Shin. Hired him to take all of our ideas, make it into a 90-minute live show. Once we started to realize how many people were involved, we decided it was going to be best just to meet here in the studio. Everybody on the team all in one place. He's now found a technology that we can go there whenever we want and make decisions there whenever we want. So he's saying this is a place that we've visited before but now we're offering you control, yeah, like decisions, decision right? Yeah. And he's like introducing it over this That's track. Sick. So yeah, after we did the two weeks of uh, the creative camp and we had all of our visuals created, another week of previs, prep the show. led up to the very first Dreamer show at Red Rocks. In our dreams, we visit a world where physical laws need not apply. Frontier is not beyond. We want it to be this massive, immersive experience. On the lighting side of things, Michael Sheck. Video side, our VJ William Stoddard, our laser operator Anthony Garcia, piecing together the physical elements was Larry Lurker Barcelo, our production manager. Leading up to that moment, it didn't almost feel real. Walking up to the stage and the intro started, and you know, you hear everybody scream when the eye definitely shed a tear or two of just happiness and it was all emotions at once. From the trailer, as soon as it came on the screen and then seeing Lex on this huge stage as Dr. M, it was just one of the most rewarding things ever. Tyler, for our first live show, just being the nice guy that Tyler is, to fly out Danny and Julian and Lex and Caleb, just to see the show unfold in front of them. The goal for fans, go as deep or not as deep as you want. Catch the visuals, maybe not fully pay attention, but the music is still gonna be amazing. Everything's gonna flow together. You're gonna have a great time. But if you really start to look and listen to what the intro is talking about and the outro and all these things, you don't have to listen to every song to understand the context of what's going on. But if you do want to dive deeper, there's a lot there. We really tried to focus in our energy on like each element one at a time and not create this overwhelming experience, but more of a beautiful, intimate, immersive visual experience.